what's up y'all yes it's been forever I know I'll be busy I've been out of town I've been doing me okay vacay um <clears throat> you may be wondering where are we well right now we're in my filthy messy closet and the floor you can see all the way up the floor is a mess so, I figured, well, I could talk to you guys, and I could clean my closet, or attempt to start cleaning my closet, because this is going to be several hours. And to who, I hope everybody is doing great. We have Easter coming up this Sunday. Today is already April 17th, y'all. It's April 17th already. Already. And it's a lot to talk about. It's a lot to chat about, y'all. It's a lot to talk about. Um, first of all, let's just, you know, get the elephant out of the, the elephant in the room. Let's make this plain. So, yeah, Mimi Faust, I believe her last name is, from um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and her porn sex tape. All I have to say about it is this, is when a woman decides to do something like that, and especially someone like herself who is in the public eye, who, she knew what she was doing when she did it, you know, I can only hope that she thought about every aspect of her life that it was going to affect, because no matter what she does in the future, it's always going to be a part of who she is. Yeah, it gave her, like, this overnight fame. The whole shower ride thing and the spoofs that have been going all crazy all over my Twitter and Facebook are hilarious. They are hilarious. But at the end of the day, you know, it's all about what she felt like she needed to do for herself. You know, and people bring up her four-year-old daughter. And true, it is going to affect her daughter over the long run because it is going to come up. You know, but she won't be the only child who has this situation to deal with. You know, I'm not going to judge her or say anything bad about her. You know, of course, Miss Jocelyn went on Twitter talking about granny porn and she's 45 years old. But of all the men that I know who've seen the little commercial clip, they're not necessarily complaining about what, the way her body looks. So... I don't even think that's a factor, but into who, you know, I hope it was worth it. She did it for a reason, and, you know, I hope she feels like it's worth it to her, you know. It may not be right for everybody, but, you know, just, I know she needs to prepare herself for the onslaught of of media and things that people are going to do to her in the media so good luck Mimi yeah that's pretty it's pretty crazy and then this Po Chow from the Wu-Tang Clan good lord so I'm looking on my Twitter on my Twitter and on my Facebook and I love me some Wu-Tang Clan I love me some Wu-Tang Clan but then I'm reading about this member who, let's see, I'm trying to make sure I have the right name of the person before I say anything. Let's see. So Andre Johnson, also known as Christopher Bear cut off his little man part and jumped off a building and it's been reported that he doesn't even want his little man part reattached uh, you were bold enough to cut it off why you had to cut it off? Not really sure. What have you been doing with it? Or what have you done that you feel like you needed to cut off your mans down there? You know, obviously it's pretty serious because you jumped off a building in the attempt to kill yourself, which was a failed attempt. 
and then you don't want your mans back on. There's way more to this story, so I'm waiting to hear as it unfolds, which I'm sure that it will over time. It's crazy to me, though. It's crazy. But, um... Pretty much on my Twitter, Twitter feed, everybody is waiting for the summer to hit, everybody's springtime ready, ready for it to get hot. You know, today in Houston, it's um, thunder and rain and it's cool and I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I, I'm not looking forward to the 150 degree days. I, I just, I, I'm not, I'm sorry. That delays anybody's plans for the summer, but uh, I'm not learning like looking forward to burning up, not being able to breathe because it's so hot. But that's just me, I'm not a hater. Okay, so as y'all can see, my closet has exploded. I am moving to a house, <laughs> moving to a bigger house, hopefully with twice as much closet space. I'll be moving um, end of June, right before 4th of July, so I'm excited, excited, I'm very excited to move, finally, because my closet is not big enough, and I have a shopping addiction, yes, my name is Leela, I'm addicted to shopping, I have clothes and shoes, and I just keep getting more and more, I just love it, I love clothes and shoes. So, um, in order to continue to feed my addiction, I just need to get a bigger closet. But the one thing about my addiction is that I am a super bargain shopper. Like, I love a deal. Especially if it's something I really like and really think it's cute. Like, once I get my closet a little more clean, then I can kind of show you a couple of things that I've gotten. And especially being a bigger girl... You know, it's hard for us to find stuff that's fashionable and cute. So when I find things that are on sale, it's a great deal, I have to get them because they won't be there when I come back because I'm not the only big girl that has that to live by. But that's my current situation. So I'll be back, y'all. Hey, I'm back. Okay. So, let's see. I am preparing for Easter. Hopefully it'll be nice this weekend. It's been thunderstorming and raining all day. It's been kind of ugly. But, let's see. Oh my gosh. So, I do this a lot when I shop a lot. I might find one little piece of clothes and then just something miraculously ends up matching it. So, I got this little shirt. I don't know if you can see it. It's cute. It's a cute little shirt. It's very summertime. Yes, there's a huge hole in the back. But it's... I'm not as big on top as I am on the bottom. Very much in the legs and the hips. So, I found this shirt in Louisiana. I was just like, it's so cute. I have to have it. So, got it for... I don't know if you can see that. $5.99. Like, can you beat it with a stick? So, I got this shirt, and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to wear it with. Maybe I'll get some high-waisted jeans, shorts, or a maxi skirt, or something. I went to Ross out here in Houston with a friend of mine the other day. We were just looking for some stuff for Easter. And I found these little sandals. Aren't they just, like, cute? They have, like, this big buckle, and they have little detail in them found these on sale, right? Can you see how much that is? I don't know if my camera focus in. But these are $7.49. Cute, right? Cute little sandals. Same color as the shirt. Then I hit a corner <clears throat> and I find a maxi skirt. Same color. I love this mint green color. It's so cute. But this is like an entire outfit and it's under $20. And it's all my size. So this is this contributes towards my shopping addiction because I find great deals like that. So I cannot help it. Uh, I just got back from 
my shit, so. You guys are just totally hanging out with me. Okay, so you, um, I did change my hair. This is, um, my weave. Uh, it's straightened out right now. And I cut some bangs into it because I wanted something a little different before I do something else. Usually in this stuff. In this. It's my phone. Usually in the summertime, I like my hair really curly. Like big curly, like Kelly Rowland hair. So, this is my last look at this before I get my big curly hair for the summer. I so want to just wear my natural hair. I'm getting to the point now where my natural hair is pretty long, as you guys saw in a couple of videos that I put before. I'm just not very good at styling it at all. It's so thick and I just, anytime I try to two strand twist it, I take the twist out, it doesn't stay. Because where I live in Houston, it's so humid. It just turns my hair into curly little ringlets. Next thing you know, it's a giant poof ball. So I'm going to probably have to go to my stylist, Jared, and see. You know, I don't want to just twist it down in my head, you know, I want to wear my hair out, I love big wild hair, so, if I can get him to show me how to do my hair where I can wear it like that, then I probably will. Seriously, um, I need to give some clothes away. Like, it's just at that point. I think I'm in denial. I don't like to give my clothes away because what always happens is that, um, I end up giving clothes away and then right after I give them away I find something to go with them. The craziest thing. I have shirts and skirts and pants and blouses that I've never worn. Some of this stuff still has tags on it that I'm like okay one day I'm going to need a bright yellow shirt with I have this bright yellow shirt that still has the tags on it that, I don't know if you guys know, I have this, it's a bright yellow shirt, still has the tags on it, and I'm like, I'm gonna wear this shirt, and I'm gonna need a bright yellow shirt, and then I'm going to get rid of it, and then I'll need it, so, I refuse. I refuse. Unbury my closet a little bit. And these are all shoes I don't wear. They're just they're just sitting there. All of the shoes up here are my Jessica Simpson shoes because I love me some Jessica Simpson shoes. Right now I'm just trying to clear out a space on the floor where I'm not sitting on any clothes or anything. I'm a sh clothing addict. Alright, here we go. Um, um, one thing that one of my friends is asking me, you know, as a bigger girl, and I wear a size 16, 18, I'm smaller on top, like I can wear like, I got this little shirt from Ross, I can wear like an extra large on top because I'm not very busty at all, but um, it's just, you know, clothes and shoes make me feel happy. <laughs> I'm trying to justify my addiction. It's kind of like my drug of choice. Drug O choice. So, I'm going to continue. Let's see how much time I'm cleaning on my closet. So, what are your plans for the weekend? What are you doing for... Easter, normally for Easter, because, you know, we always go to church, of course, and then, you know, we always eat. It's just, it seems like <clears throat> the foods that we have at different holidays always seems to be, like, the same kind of foods. Like, you always have macaroni and cheese or potato salad, you know, some kind of meat, turkey, you know, because it can feed a lot of people. But I think I want to start creating a new tradition where, you know, we'll eat different stuff. Like, I want to do, like, an all Chinese food 
Thanksgiving or something. I'm just weird like that. Because, you know, I mean, how much stuffing and macaroni and cheese can you eat? Seriously. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You get tired of it. Um. What else? Ah. So, I'm going to continue fighting. There's so much stuff down here. I need to have, like, like bags, like, purses. I've never worn this bag, and it's such a cute bag. Oh, wow, there's a wallet in here. i probably never worn that either. I'm going to have... Isn't that cutie patootie? I love this bag. I love it because it has a little butterfly detail on it. And I have nothing to wear with it. But I'm sure I'll find something. And little club bags. Like, I like this little bag. It's so cute. I love my closet. It's like my... It's my sanctuary. Um... <clears throat> These shoes right here are the most horrible things I've ever seen. They're the ugliest gold shoes ever. And as soon as I can give them away, I will. These are horrible. I don't, I, I didn't actually buy those. I would never buy anything like that. Those are actually given to me, so. Um, <clears throat> I hide out in my closet quite a bit. My closet is like my sanctuary. It's my happy place. It's where I feel good. Where I feel whole. You know, one with nature and the world. My closet of love. Yes, so. I know I'm trying to. Um. And, okay, so about my hair. So, this is the first time I've ever made a wig. I got. I watched a thousand YouTube videos and I got a wig cap, the netted kind, and I sewed the hair on. I don't know if I did that great of a job, but I, I guess it's still holding up okay because I haven't managed to comb the tracks out. And then I got this closure from um, AliExpress and I cut it myself. So I think I did pretty good for the first time ever save myself some money the actual hair itself I only spent $140 on and then the closure with like a half a track of hair was $56 can't cannot beat it and this is um, Brazilian wavy but it feels good and I put a, like a, a rinse on it because it had like a lot of gray hair in it so I just put like a, a burgundy and an auburn color runs on it. So I was just exciting. I've all kind of hidden little stuff in here. Okay, y'all, so, <sighs> I'm like admiring myself. Thanks for hanging out with me in my closet. Oh my god. Thanks so much. And I will like totally come back and talk to you guys. I would say tomorrow, but that would probably be a lie. Okay. I'll come back and talk to you as soon as I can. I'm going to be making some changes to my page. I'm going to work on my little intro video, I guess. And putting my Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram links on all my videos now. I'm trying to get better. I just need y'all to work with me. Just work with me. I'm challenged. Look at this closet. Sex up a lot of my time, okay? Love with me. I, I just might... Once I clean it up, this might be my new video filming spot. We'll see. I'm not picking my nose, y'all. I'm really not. Because that would be nasty to do that on film. Alright, you guys. Like, totally love you. Bye.